Good night, good night. How everyone's done tonight? God is good and God is good all the time. My name is Irma Jill, Spiritual Divine. I'm here to give you a word on tonight. Um, the word is overcoming spiritual depression. Now I know some of us may be dealing with this, um, dealing with this situation. I know all of us might be deal dealing with different kind of situations. You know, so I'm here to tell you um not to stay in that dumps um bad you know we all might be going through spirit you know ain't nothing wrong with us spiritual going through spiritual depression because in the bible you you, you remember i preached for last week sometime on elijah remember he had a meltdown you know he ran for his life sit on the tree he wanted to take his life and stuff so i'm trying to um tell y'all not to even go that route you know so um how do we get over spiritual depression being thirsty for God. Be rooted in God's word. Praying. You know, so when when a dry winds or life snap snap us, spiritual life. And when we feel oppressed and lost, you also may feel like God is far from you. So let our soul thirst for God when we are in that dark valley. Do not remain lost in that dark valley. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. And you may be or you might be in it for a long period of time. Now see when I'm in my own when I'm in my own dark valley, my spiritual own um, depression sometimes, you know, you got to try not to stay stuck in there for a long period of time. Because you you'll be it'll take you a long time to get out of it. And it might lead to one thing to another. You, you know, so when you in that dark space you know like you overwhelmed you just, just so much is going on try to snap out of it by praying more and and read your bible more you know and that that kind of helped me that helped me all the time praying and reading and reading god's word you know that help now we can pray read our bible it will help me a whole lot in my in my own depression now how comforting it is to know that no matter how lost and dejected we may feel at times, but God faithfulness assure us that we will bounce back. That we will bounce back. Ensure that we will find our way back to him and to the fullness of his presence that we will yet praise him. And see, when when we in that place, we, we have to be thirsty for God. You know, we have to um, trust trust him in our process, you know. So in the mix of spiritual depression, we have to trust God and have hope and faith. Because, see, sometimes when we in that depression, sometimes our, our faith being a God like, you know, doubt start popping up, you, you know. So we have, to, we have to trust God and get back in that place with him. You know, we have to rest in the law to get back in, in alignment um, with him. Now, we have to pray more. Read our Bible. That Bible and praying is the main key of snapping you back. You know, so save, so save the cross spirit. And when we in that moment, God still love us. It might not seem that way. Because sometimes when you in that deep valley, it seems like he's so far away. So far away, but actually he be right near us. You know, he know when to step in. When you at that breaking point. You know. Now Isaiah 40 to 31 says depression is a huge source of hope. Because it reminds us that when our strength are depleted, that when that by depression, now God will renew our strength. Because see, God worked in our weakness moment. You know, God will work in our weakness. When we can't work, when we can't um, get it together, God will get it together. Because see, God will still be working when we stop. So that's why a lot of times when I'm in my little um, depression, I don't never stop. You don't, you can't stop because once you stop to try to um, um, get over whatever you, you know, it's just going to get worse and worse. I, I keep myself busy. I keep working. And that's how, and praying in, in your bike, that's how you get through it, you know.
So, um, 1 Kings 18, 16, 40. And uh, just like I was telling you about Elijah. Now, Elijah got so drained. He got so overwhelmed, you know. So, he started running for his life. Now, he was emotional. He was physical. And he was spiritual drained. Elijah said he had enough. You know, many times I got like that. Even though, e even right now. You know, sometimes you can get so drained. Elijah got so drained. But don't never get so drained and so emotional that you want to take your life. He wanted to take his life. He told God, just take my life. So I don't never get to that point. I don't never want y'all to get to that point. And you feel like you at that breaking point. Um, reach out to God. Reach out to God. You know. So then God stepped in and encouraged Elijah. Remember he encouraged Elijah. And then told him to leave and go back the way you came. You know, he encouraged Elijah to go back. You know, because Elijah was just at, he was just at his breaking point. You know, so we all may be dealing with all kind of different um, situ um spiritual situations. You know, remember, this could be spiritual. At first, I used to be ashamed, you know, because somebody had told me, oh, no, no, you can't be doing all that. You can't cry. You can't do, you can't do that. But they had a lot of powerful um, prophets in the Bible that had got drained multiple times. You know, so ain't nothing wrong with sometimes you get drained. You may get, you know, emotionally overwhelmed. As long as you don't stay there, you know, you have to be thirsty for God. You have to trust Him. You have to build your faith because a lot of time when you're in depression, our faith in a God lack. You know, so you want to keep your faith strong, keep your hope alive, you know, because you keep that hope alive, you know, something you, something you can't see, but something you're hoping for. You know, because some, some of us might be in a battle for a long period of time. And you, your hope your hope and your faith just got drained right along with you. You know, so you have to kind of build that back up. You know, because depression have a lot to do with your faith and your hope. You know, so you got to keep those two things right there strong. So when you are struggling and weak, that's when God is strong in you. You know, so... Your weakness is God's clue, clue to step in and help and not hurt. So a lot of times we, we think, you know, we don't understand a lot of times how God operates in our life and our journey. But he always do things not to hurt us, but to build us up, you know, because he works better in our weakness. When I'm crying and emotional and weak, he's, he's, he's still working. He behind the scenes still working. You know, that's why you got to keep on working. Don't stop. That's the heaven and father going to still be working. You know, and he's not going to do anything that's going to hurt us. You know, so we're going to look at Isaiah 40, 29, 31. He gives strength to the world and increase the power of the weak. Now, even you grow tired and worry. And your men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the law will renew their strength. That they will soon have wings like eagles and, and they will run and not grow worried. They will walk and not be faint. You know, because even in your weakest moment, once you see God, he will give you that strength that you need. He will give you that strength. Because he said here, when you weak, when you grow worried, they will, you will walk and not be faint. See, when you see God, and e even in your weakest moment, you will not faint. Once you seek God, once you thirsty for God, you know, you will not faint. You could be weak, weak as hell, but you will not faint. You know, so when we hope in the Lord, trust in his promise and timing, we soak above difficult, manage our energy so we can run and not grow worried, walk and not feel faint. You know, so overcoming a spiritual own um, depression. We don't want to stay in that dark valley. You want to snap out of it. You want to constantly keep praying and your body is the two strong things right there to do. Don't never um try to go seek help and take a medicine and doing all that um, stuff. Your Bible is your medicine. Praying is your medicine. And that's what you're going to do to snap out of. Don't try to go run nowhere and try to get help in the other kind of way. Your Bible and praying is your own, own, own help. So oh, overcoming 
a spiritual um depression. One, you're gonna pray to God more, more than ever. Three or four times a day. You know, I pray and I'm I'm so emotional and this and that by, by third or hour later, I'm gone. I done made myself a prayer room since I, I've been doing all that praying, doing my spiritual um, warfare, you know. So I go back in the bathroom and pray again. I'm saying to myself, I just prayed, you know, an hour ago. But sometimes when you in that state of mind, you have to keep praying more than ever, you know. And two, you have to read your Bible. You have to read your Bible more than ever. You know, now, now songs have pretty powerful um, scriptures in there to read. I read songs on a daily basis, you know, so... I, I don't never stop, but when you're in that city of mind, you have to constantly keep reading those scriptures. You have to constantly keep on praying. You know, you have to constantly do this day. And three, meditation. Meditation helped me a lot, too. At the end of your day, you know, I'm fasting, so I do my, my um, praying and, and um, reading morning and night. You know, so I, was, I try to do my meditation like twice out of the week. So at the end of the day, you get in your bed or you sit up however you do your meditation and meditate. Meditate. It's cleaning your mind, your soul, and everything. You know, so for you have to build your faith and your hope up, like I was telling you earlier. Because, see, when you're in that depression, that means your faith and your hope will drop down. You know, so you have to build that back up to stay in alignment with God so that you will get through it. Now, it's important to remember that not everyone who is depressed is suicide. You know, sometimes, like I'm talking now, sometimes you're in a spiritual depression, not a mental depression. That's why I said don't stay in it a long period of time because it can turn to that. You know, you don't want to get sick and have to go to the hospital. So you got to snap out of it. And, um, and the only way to snap out of it is do these things like I told you. Praying, reading your Bible more, and meditate. Okay, so five, be thirsty for God. God is the only one can snap you out of it, you know, and he still have love for you in your dark valley, you know, in that, in that moment, you know. Sometimes, some of us might be taking on a whole lot of projects at one time. I know I am taking on too much, you know, so we have to really balance ourselves. I know some of us is still building, you know, and we have to really balance, balance ourselves of what we've done because you can't get drained, you know, like I did. I overdrained myself. You know, it was a whole lot of stuff can have your spiritual um, depression, you know. So we have to balance everything what we've done, you know. So uh, six, let God renew your strength. Okay, one, after you done pray to God, do it three times a day. Read your Bible. Meditate. Build your faith and your hope back up. Um, be thirsty for God. You know, just have a conversation with him once a day. You know, and then let God renew your strength. Because see, after you do all these things here, then you're going to be back and strive again. So you're going to have to have God to renew your strength so you can constantly, you know, move forward. You know, so... Um, when you're in that dark valley, never stay in it for a long period of time. Or you then it will cause other problems where you have to go seek help. You know, so trust God in the mix of it. Trust God in his time. You know, because when, when I was in mine, you know, God was still working. God was still working. And he'll be looking at you like, you know, you know, snap out of it, you know. Snap out of it, you know. I had, I have a whole lot of reasons why, you know. We all have our reason why we get in that place, you know. But do these things here, like I do, and you can snap out of, it, you know, because reason. We're not gonna let the devil take our mind, cause see, the devil comes to steal and destroy, you know. And the main thing, if you let the devil steal your mind, he got you, he got you. So we're gonna keep on striving, strong. Keep on holding on and hanging in there. And always pray to Jesus. You know, Jesus will keep your mind in perfect peace. You know. So do these six things and you'll be all right. I hope you enjoy this word. And remember, 
we all can overcome spiritual depression. You know, some of us dealing with spiritual warfare like I am, you know, and that's kind of drain you right there by itself. You know, so we all have different issues, different situations, you know, that cause us to be overwhelmed and drained. But we maintain these six things, we can get through it. So have a blessed night, y'all, and I see y'all in the next video.